and welcome back to Let's Play Disciples 2. First thing we gotta do is watch this mission briefing, so let's do it. Like a poisonous serpent, Hubert de Lely's influence slithered throughout the Empire, spreading everywhere the seeds of depravity. Many petty nobles sprung up after Hubert's death, declaring themselves sovereign, depriving the true emperor of his realm. In a dream, Demosthenes saw his empire aflame. From the trees poured blood, putrid fruits fell to the rotten earth, and the blowing winds were as death's breath. In the midst of this nightmare, an angel appeared and gazed silently upon him. Demosthenes awoke, knowing the dream was an omen. As Demosthenes' weakened condition prevented him from waging war, he ordered his son Uther to defend the Empire. Uther's strength soon became legendary, for he could defeat men twice his size. His ruthlessness was unmatched as he marched south with his troops to subdue the disobedient nobles. And this is the fourth mission. It is time for me to reclaim what my father lost. Prepare our troops. Let us subdue these disloyal nobles. The riotous cities lie south. Let's take them back. Okay, so in this mission we're taking back cities that were taken over by riotous nobles. Should be a lot of fun. And we're going to set up our party as usual. Oh, and I gotta say, um, the voice, the one voice actor they have for this game is really good. Um, I really like the uh, style. I took that artifact with me, I didn't I? Why did I do that? Um, I meant to take that potion of invulnerability. Oops. Well that's... That's not... Well, okay, we'll just uh... Yeah. That's unfortunate, but we can we can do without. Oh, actually, you know what? We ooh, that's not the button I wanted to hit. Exchange. Uther doesn't need two knights. Come on, we'll take one of those. Um, well, and since we got a knight now, I suppose we can take on that battle no problem. Let's go. Attack! Oh right, we only have an acolyte now. Ah, uh, that's... This is maybe gonna suck a bit. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't think it through fully. Okay, so one... Oh, yeah, that's fine. He can take that by himself. He can take that. He can take this. Still a pretty powerful party. <laughs> with George leading it. Alright, good stuff. Hopefully George can kill this before more poison. Alright, congratulations. And a good 13 experience. Alright. Can't quite make it back to the capital for that extra healing, so we'll just grab the treasure instead. Hey, it's a potion of healing. What do you know? And we'll take that one on next. Uther will head on in here. And I think we should... Ooh, we have unlocked new structures. We'll get into those in a little bit. It's going to be a lot of fun having these, though. First, archery range. And end the turn. See if anything happens. Probably not. lot going on apparently and we've got Balhu the legions of the damned will pursue you as usual I'm not too concerned about it who in the mountain clans what does he have to say nothing apparently okay that's interesting oh here we go greetings humans 
Degarik wel welcomes you. I am a member of the Dwarven High Council and friend of Morak Cloudkeeper, our High King. You will aid us in punishing the traitors, then? We will aid you and respect our alliance. The Mountain Clans live by honor and always keep their word. Okay, that's helpful. We do have the Mountain Clans allied with us. We can't really do much with them. I guess we'll just have to see what they do. Um, yeah, we'll take those. See what treasure they'll give us. Not a lot of high experience units that give us high experience around here. Like the orcs in the last mission. Here we've only got you know, peasants and thugs. Not that great. And we took zero damage from this battle. Yeah, we're a bit overpowered at the moment maybe. But George is almost level 6. Nice. And we'll build another structure. Now we could go with the Hierophant. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but oh well. Um, he can heal for 120, and he can also revive. And when he revives a unit from death, he, I think it comes back with half its life. Um, I think we saw a bit of that in the battle against um, Hubert de Lely. He had one of those in his party. And that's it's nice to have, but I, I really like the you know 70 healing to everyone plus the cure. So uh, I'm not even sure what I'm going to be facing this mission. So I'm not sure which is better. I'll probably just go with the worship house this time and then go with Basilica after that just so you can sort of see both in action. Um, the only one I'll never use, the only unit I'll never use is the elementalist because it's completely useless to me. So you'll see the white wizard I might go with the Grand Inquisitor, although those angels are really nice, and so are the Paladins. So it's a really tough call here. Um, I don't think I'll get a chance to show all these units off anyway, so I'll probably just pick the ones I want. See how that goes anyway. But yeah, this time around I'll build my uh, church and continue on down that line. Hopefully I don't get too many... Uh, spellcasters to fight. Although we are facing the legions of the damned and they do go pretty spellcaster heavy sometimes. Well, we'll see how it works out. Oh, apparently there's a lot going on where we can't see it. And we get a potion of air warding. Completely useless. We could go kill them, but they will probably kill our Acolyte before we can kill them, so eh. We'll do that later. Not much experience there anyway. Ooh, an Orc. Perfect. Attack. This is what I wanted to see. Now since George can paralyze, we really don't have to worry about anything. Um, George has a good initiative too, so... Any high damage unit on their side of the field. Usually George will go first, he'll attack, he'll paralyze, and nothing happens to us. Really useful. Of course there are those few units out there that have mind immunities. Like our um, Inquisitors. Um, which I think I might go for this mission. Although we're not, we're not facing a lot of undead, so... It may not be really useful, but... Mm, I don't know. I like having the mind immunity. <coughs> but I'll at least um, show you the stats for the other units that I could potentially have. Uh, the angels are powerful, and the paladins aren't quite as um, damaging, 
but they do have extra armor. So they're really good, especially in this kind of party where my front row is mostly there to you know keep everyone else alive. Like George is the only one that really does high high damage. <clears throat> but the back row, my like with the assassin. Oh goodness me. Um, hopefully we can kill two of these before they attack. Okay, good. Whew, that was close. <clears throat> um, yeah, my back row is pretty powerful, so... The front row is actually would be best if I had units with high armor. Just so, you know, they can take more damage and my back row can continue to just power through. There we go. George level up with, you know, on that 8 experience that we got. Nice. Orb of Vigor. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we've built those ones. We'll build... Okay, so the Angel can do 125. It's got 225 HP. Initiative of 50. Um, Paladin only does 100 damage and 175 HP, but the armor is 30. So that's really nice. And the Grand Inquisitor, damage of 100, HP of 210, and uh, Mind Immunity, and a Fire Award, actually. Um, I actually did not know that. Or I didn't remember it, at least. I'm going to go for that. Um, against the Legions, that Fire Award will be really useful, so... Why not? It's actually nice to see. I had no idea. And then we won't have to worry about uh, a lot of spellcasters either. On the Legion's end of it, it's they're pretty much all fire-based attacks, so... That's nice. Okay, now... Oh, well, leadership. I don't even know why I had to think about that at all. Bring Uther out again. And... Give us the other knight. Oh, wait. There we go. Perfect. Yes. This party is well set. We can even take on this. Let's go for it. Um, yeah, you can get the archer. Who missed anyway? Nice. <laughs> Paralyze. I'm not sure um, what the percentage on that is. I don't think it actually lists it on my character card. No, because it's a artifact bonus. It doesn't actually list it, so... I have no idea how much I'm going to be hitting with that. It might be 100%. That would be nice. <clears throat> but I'm not totally sure. No, it's obviously not. Okay. Hmm. It might be something like 80% though. Seems to hit most of the time. Uh, ooh, we'll need to heal this one. Both our knights taking lots of damage. But we made it through alright. And hopefully our back row all levels up now. Yes. Okay, so the first they only need 475. Yeah, the knights will need their building first. I'm an idiot. I just realized I built the uh, structure for the Inquisitors. And I have two knights in my party. Wow. That I might have to load my game. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of stupid. Yes. Right. Well. See you in a bit.